Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Day one of the global GoTour Sino event has been completed. I've been walking around most of the day doing routes, trying to get those basculin on the routes as well. So Google Fit says I've walked 14.53 miles, which in steps is 34,517 steps. So really, really stupid amount of steps. But what sort of shinies have we managed to get during the event? So let's go back to the first shiny. We had a shiny as elf from day number one off of research. So we had to take a snapshot of as elf, mesprit, and oxy in the wild, and you managed to get an encounter with those once you'd done that task. So my as elf was shiny. It did take a stupid amount of balls until it actually stayed in. It wasn't guaranteed first catch, even though it was shiny. So it was a ridiculous about amount of balls I had to waste trying to get it. But eventually I did catch it. It is a free star, but not a brilliant one. Then we had a shiny Chimchar in the wild. Shiny Stunky, which is a brand new shiny. So super, super happy about that. Hoping to get another one tomorrow to complete the family. We have Shiny Palkia off a raid. Really happy with that. Invited to a raid. So thanks to the person who invited me this. Pikachu with a red hat. So this is... With first of the two red hat pikachus so it's virtually all red but it does have the symbols just there on the side of a hat but the other one has a white symbol on it but i managed to get that one shiny super happy about that shiny sneasel in the wild as well really really good stats on that one gibble in the wild super happy about that another shiny sneasel in the wild really happy about that one some of these i haven't even seen the stats of as well so I'm looking at these as I go through them with you. Really happy with that shiny Sneasel there in the wild. Quillfish, really, really happy with that shiny. That is a super, super shiny. Another brand new shiny added to the game for this event. Hishui and Quillfish, really, really nice. Another shiny Sneasel in the wild. Shiny Mesprit in the wild. This time it stayed in the ball relatively easy. Shiny Pikachu this time. Another one with the red hat, but this time it's got the symbol on the sides. So... The white symbol that is. So it's a different version to the other one. Then we had a shiny Hsuian Voltorb. This has got to be one of my most favourite shinies of the day. Really, really cool looking with a black instead of a red top. Super, super cool. And then we had another shiny Gibble in the wild. A shiny Gligar. Shiny Gibble again. Another Hsuian shiny Quillfish. Really happy to get that family done in day number one. Don't have to go hunting after those really in vast amounts in day number two. So I'm really happy to seal that family off in day one. Another shiny Hsuian Sneasel. So that, fair to say that family is very much completed. I think I've got four in total during the day. And I did have one prior to the event when it first got its shiny released. When you can get it on task. So that was a really cool shiny. Shiny Badoo. So I never even realised I'd hatched a Shiny Badoo, but I, I have indeed hatched a Shiny Badoo. So that's really cool. They were in my 2k eggs during the event. So didn't even realise I'd done that. So really happy with that one. Another Shiny Pikachu, the cloth form Pikachu as well. So there's two of the white hat Pikachus. One's got a cloth and one's got a little white beanie hat. So this is a cloth hat Pikachu. Really, really cool shiny pikachu there so three out of the four shiny pikachus i've managed to get shiny chimchar in the wild and a shiny carnivine i've hatched this literally just as a just as we got back home six o'clock struck we got back home and shiny carnivine was just hatched out of my 10k egg so super super happy about that my first one of the three regionals that is up for grabs in the 10 kegs, Patrisu and Chatop being the other two. So it's probably the least colourful change in terms of the shinies out of the three. Patrisu, the blue stripe goes to pink. And on Chatot, it does have quite a very difference with the colouring on Chatot. But Carnivine goes to a bit duller green, but I'm really, really happy to get at least one of those shiny regionals in the bag on day number one. Hopefully get the others in day number two and that is it for shinies what have we had in terms of four stars let's have a quick look so we've had two during the day so we've had two uh, uh two hundos in the wild so we've had burmy which was caught in the wild really really happy about that one i don't think i've had a sandy burmy 
hundo before. This one is a male, so it will only evolve to moth him. Unfortunately, not the female one, which have the three different variants similar to the starters, the Burmese. And we got the Spirit Tomb off a task. So this was off a Team Go Rocket task. If you haven't already got to that stage, I think it's on stage three, you encounter Spirit Tomb. Stage four, you take on Giovanni and save uh, Shadow Reggie Gigas. But stage three, encounter with Spirit Tomb, and my 888 was a hundo. So that's the CP that you're looking for if you want to get to that stage of a task. That is definitely the CP to be looking for, and if it's blue, then even better. But that is day one in a nutshell. So we've had we've done some raids. We've done quite a few raids with Dialga and Palkia. Unfortunately, no Dialgas have yet sparkled for me. Palkia, I've had one shiny that I showed you previously, but we've done a similar amount of raids of both. So hoping to get that Dialga tomorrow in day number two. Let me know in the comments below how you've managed to get on with day number one. How have you found the spawns as well? Are you disappointed with the spawns? Are you disappointed with the shiny rate? And how have you found the raids as well? Thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope you have a great day tomorrow or even in day number one if you haven't yet completed day number one. I hope you have a great weekend and stay tuned for an update in day number two as well after I've finished tomorrow to see what we've got in total for this Go global GoTour Sinnoh event. Thanks very much for watching. Leave a like and a subscribe. Drop a comment below and I'll catch you on the next one.